So you could say I have a bit of a tire collection going on here. Shut up. What's going on guys? So today I'm going to try and stop my gearbox from blowing up and see if I can fix this idle issue and gain some horsepower with more stickers. <laughs> so, oh, and I also have to solder this cigarette lighter back on because it kind of came off. Um, but basically my gearbox has been leaking fluid out from where the tail shaft goes in. I only noticed it the other day and it's starting to crunch gears. It'll crunch third, fourth and fifth if I try and shift too fast. So it's definitely getting low on fluid. I'm pretty sure it's going to blow up soon even if I put fluid in it. I do have my rebuilt one sitting in the uh, storage container ready to go on but it also has a leak from the same spot so I have to get that fixed before this blows up and so it's ready to go in. And also I've got, uh, it's over in the VE, but I have um, a throttle position sensor off another motor ready to go on and a coolant temp sender so I can finally hook up my temperature gauge because it's just been disconnected ever since the swap because of the different temperature sensors and senders and fancy shit, that's, that's all I can say. Okay, so I just moved the car into the shade because it is boiling hot, it's like 37 or 38 degrees right now and... I'm fucking sweating bad. I uh, just took off the manual surround, pulled this shifter boot up, got to pull this up to get to, oh, get to these bad boys. So I'll undo those two, take that off, just so I have room to get around to this bolt, that bolt, and then two up the top. Take that plate off, dump some fluid in there, and hopefully she survives a few more weeks with some extra fluid because it's not looking pretty. I forgot how much of an ass this is to get these fucking bolts out. Pretty much have to climb under the car. I'm not bothered to do that. I've gotten this one loose, that one loose with this uh, ratchet and that. Um, now I've gotten that one completely out. This back one up here is an absolute dickhead. I can't fucking get it. I'm having to use a spanner. I still can't get to it properly. Probably have to go from underneath somehow, but like, who wants to climb on a hot fucking ground just to get to one bolt? Holy shit. So I just like bent this plate here because it's riveted in. I don't want to go get my drill and extension lead and all that shit. So I just bent the plate up a little bit and like just just got this in there now to try and loosen the prick holy shit that was a struggle so i did end up getting this in there and then once i got it loose i just cracked it loose and there was no way of getting this back out so i fucking wedged the big one under there pulled it backwards to lift it up as i pulled this out and god that took forever to figure out like holy shit <laughs> that's probably the thing that's taken the longest today okay stop the video i got a cut that's it, it's over, I'm quitting, I need to go to the hospital before I die. Get this last, oh, there we go, last bolt out, and we'll see how, oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, there we go go and she's pretty bone dry yum yum oh that smells so good all right let's get some more fluid in this bitch so i run like the service manual says dx3 auto fluid with a friction additive uh i've run gear oil before and when i changed over to this stuff it was so much smoother and from factory the synchros are supposed to use these because it's I don't know, it's weird, it's what's recommended, it's what my gearbox builder recommended as well, so, yeah, I'm going to stick with this shit, for anyone who uses gear oil, and their gearbox shifts really hard, and just doesn't feel right, chuck some of this shit in, and it'll be a lot smoother, trust me, I know from experience, had this bloody thing for two fucking years, and this has been the best way to go, in my opinion, so let's fill the bitch up. Oh, yum. I don't actually know how much I need. I'm just, uh, you know, I'll just fill it until it, till I feel like it's okay and maybe she won't crunch anymore. I don't know. 
if she blows up, she blows up. I've got another one there. I just have to get the seal done and it's ready to go. So I'm just doing this to try and make it last a bit longer because she's not sounding healthy as of recently. Fuck, this shit stinks. These gearbox only hold two liters, surprisingly. No wonder they don't hold up to fucking heaps of torque at low RPM. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more and I think that should do it for now. Um, if it's too much, oh well, it'll eventually leak to the right amount anyway. If it's not enough, it'll be enough to hold for a few more weeks, so. Okay, the fucking the fluid is filled. All the bolts are in. She's all up tight. Time to seal it all off. Get that bastard on. This one back down. Uh, and then I'm gonna go find my solder and solder this back on so that we have power. Okay, it's on there, or well, soldered back on there, sort of. My soldering iron tip is like destroyed. Um, so now I'm just gonna chuck this back on. I have another cigarette lighter somewhere in my parts, like buried, so find that eventually. Oh, no, wait a second. Need this bad boy. Oh. Now that was another fucking struggle and a half. Done! all set now I have to go get sensors out of the VE the blue VE not the green one and then we can start trying to fix this idol bay Throttle position sensor, coolant temp sender. This is going to be a bit of a bitch to get to. The two screws that go there and there. Bit of an awkward spot down there. Okay, so it's actually impossible to get to this bottom screw right now until I get like one of those really short stubby screwdrivers. I have one somewhere, no clue where it is. I'll probably buy a new one and do that some other time. So I'm just gonna grab this temperature sensor, sender, whatever it is. Take this one out, put this one back in and connect the stock wiring to this. And it'll display on the stock dash like hot, cold. Eventually I'll change to a autometer temperature gauge to go next to the boost gauge as well and then an oil pressure gauge as well connect down here but yeah so for now I'm just gonna do that extend this wire over to here so oh, this dog just wandered up hey buddy what are you doing are you chasing my cat you little dick go home or piss on a tree all right, um, anyway, wire is connected. It's running over here. I've just got to change this uh, sensor and solder and then electrical tape that. Hey, don't come over here. There's a dog, he'll fucking eat you. All right, all wiring shit's done. Now I just got to change this. Just realized coolant is gonna fucking piss out of here. Oh, good fun. Or not. I think I need to top up my coolant, hey. It's a good way to check. Just pull your fucking temperature sender out, mate. Should be right. Alright. I'm just going to tighten that up all the way and then fill my radiator with water. Woohoo! Alright, the temp gauge is hooked up. So I'm just going to start the car and see if we can get it going.
model seems to be staying normal, pretty normal. It's still a bit like lumpy, but it seems to be not. Wait a second. Damn, I don't know if it's normal if, or if it's going to start going up and down again. It is going up and... Okay, yeah. Fuck! What a dick. Alright, guys. Okay, anyway, guys, that's all for today. Um... There's nothing else I can really do besides put stickers on, but I'd rather get inside into the aircon. So, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Leave some comments down below, some ideas, modifications. Uh, I've got a strut brace to go on. I have twin subs to install. I have my big brake kit sitting there in a fucking milk crate ready to install. I'm waiting until I go to Sydney to do that video with Aiden. Fucking old, old times, basically. Um... So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe for more. That'll be all for today, guys. Cheers for watching.